Hello, I'm David Wams here, and this is a quick video to let you know that I'm sharing a bunch of Beaver Builder row shapes I've created. These are individual plugins that will each add in a new SVG shape to the ones that are already available in your Beaver Builder rows. I've created this landing page, which you'll find below this video to explain it a little bit better. And at the moment, I've created 10 shapes, but I intend to add more. And if you've seen some that you particularly like, I'll do my best to try and recreate something very similar I have a few ideas already so I've done these as individual pictures so you can just expand on these by clicking on them and there's all the regular settings will be available so in this case with this fire shape I've added in a little bit of gradient here to make it more fire like and you'll see with some of these they have different paths with different opacity on them now you can create this effect using two of the shapes that are existing already in Beaver Builder but having different paths is quite new and what I've tried to do with this is I've tried to mark these up with their own selector borrowing the kind of tradition with Beaver Builder and using FL. So I've given them their own path so you can do a little bit of styling if you're handy with CSS on top of these individual paths. I must say a quick thanks here to Carr from Digital Red Panther because I've taken six of these from here and there's a great collection here. Some of them overlap with what we've got in Beaver Builder already, but I do intend to take some more of these and turn them into plugins as well. And also what I'm going to do as well in a follow-up video is that I will show you me making these plugins and the process I go through. Now, you can already do this with the documentation in Beaver Builder. That's what I used to get this far. And it was pretty easy Easy to understand there were a few moments where I wasn't entirely sure and now I've got my own kind of process to do it quickly so I thought I would share that because it might be helpful how I just take one of the existing plugins and change a few names about and it's pretty easy to make your own okay let me just tell you how you can get these if you want them now so what I've done on this page is I've put up my sign up form which is my generic one for Beaver Junction and if you sign up for this if you haven't already for Beaver Junction then you'll get an email inviting you to join the email list but you don't need to if you don't want to and I won't send you any more emails you'll be sent to a landing page anyway with the link and you will get an email as well if you've already signed up I'm going to send out another email to you but you probably already have it because everybody's going to get the same email from this sign up it's the main beaver junction one and if we go down to the bottom here I've just added in this text saying it includes the row shapes here so there's a link to Dropbox and it will take you here and you should find this so many of you may have this already and I would just keep adding to this as I go so it's just one thing really for me to mention and that's how you can do that basic styling let me just go over to this site here so this is a site I've used on the other videos where I've got a light version of Beaver Builder in here so I've already installed a few of these plugins here I've kept the naming convention to BB so they all stay together if you use a lot of them most of the time you probably won't it does seem a bit of a pain to have to add these individually but on the other side of it it's also kind of lightweight just to keep it down to what you need for a particular site. So I'm hoping this will be okay if combined with some images which give you a good clue about which ones you might want to use. Anyway, you can just install them all in the first place if you just want to try them out. Okay, let me just go over to here. So what I've got is a row and what I've done is I've called this row hero so I can style it and make sure that it's only going to apply to the shapes that are in this particular row. So let me go and add it in a shape. Uh, we need to get to this top shape. I'm going to add in wavy because I know that's got some paths. There we are. It does the same thing that it would normally do. I want this to go to the top. I'm going to need to flip this one over. Let me just find that. Let's change the orientation on that. Go that way if I want. I think I'll, I'll stick that. And I can go and pick a color. I guess I can just go for the white there. As you can see, there's some opacity over here. Oops, let me go flip that back. 
Right. And, you know, it's just, it's going to work in the same way as other things. I can use all my other settings on here. I tend to use VW on this one because everything kind of stays proportionally the same shape as you move uh, the browser to a smaller size. So that's, I tend to use that most of the time. Anyway, what I wanted to show you here was that you could style things. So I'm just going to use the styling place I've got already on the page. So I'm just going to bring up the CSS layout over here and I've already got some in place. Now you can't always see which path each are and of course it could be upside down. So there's no way of really doing this in a particular order. So path three in this case is the main one, which is got no transparency on it at all. So let me just go and take this out here. So I've put a full color of brown on this. So when I take it out of the comments, it should turn this to brown. And I've also got a bit of transform scale on that, which has made it move a little bit out of place. Let me just bring that back to the row there. So you can do a bit of basic style in here and let's take the next one. There's actually three paths on this one, which isn't so obvious. Let's turn that one to green. Now this has got a bit of opacity on it anyway. So if you had an image underneath this, then you would see through that green. And I'm not sure about how to overwrite this. I'm sure there's more for me to look at in terms of styling some of these, but I think it just gives us a little bit more flexibility to be able to have these individual paths. Anyway, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I hope it was useful and I hope these shapes are useful. I really love some feedback and some ideas. I've got a few of my own about what I want to add to these and I'm sure we're coming back to this topic anyway. So that's really it. If you did like this video then please give me a, a thumbs up on YouTube because it really helps me and consider subscribing to the channel if you're a Beaver Builder user in particular. And this is my first video of the year so happy new year to you and hope to see you again in another video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.